Many people have seen this famous map showing the ever-shrinking borders of Palestine, but likely far less people could explain why the borders have changed so dramatically. First, how did these original borders of Palestine form from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea? The countries of the modern Middle East were once the same swath of territory owned by the Ottoman Empire. Of the nearly 500,000 people living in Ottoman Palestine, 75% were Muslim, 20% Christian, and 5% Jewish. Nearly 100% were Arab. Before Palestine had borders, it was a recognizable nation. Its cultural identity is distinct, with deep roots in the land. But plans for that land were being made elsewhere in the world. In the late 1800s, it was being eyed to be colonized. In the United States, Europe, and Russia, anti-Semitism was a dangerous and growing force. Mob killings of Jewish people were a regular occurrence. In this climate of terror began what is known as Zionism, or the belief in an exclusively Jewish state to be established somewhere in the world. From its founding through the first half of the 20th century, the Zionists remained an extremely small minority among Jewish people. The ideology was rejected by both religious and secular Jewish people. But Zionism, however marginalized, became a fervent political movement, led by its proclaimed father, Theodor Herzl, an Austrian atheist. While first considering Argentina and Uganda as a homeland, the Zionist movement claimed rights to what it called Greater Israel, which includes all of Palestine and part of today's Lebanon, Jordan, Syria, Iraq, and Egypt. Their right to this land was based on the ancient biblical kingdoms of the Old Testament, which disappeared 600 years before the birth of Jesus. Herzl's job became jet-setting around the world, lobbying those in power he thought would be sympathetic to his project. The Zionists, more than anything, needed money to fund settlements, and ultimately a decree from the world's colonial powers. From its inception, political Zionism was not only a plan for colonization and expansion, but one of expulsion of the land's indigenous inhabitants. Much of historic Palestine was semi-feudal, with farmers living and working on land owned by wealthy individuals who lived far away in fancy cities of Syria and Jordan. Zionist settlers began purchasing this land in 1882. Many evicted its indigenous people to build the first settlements. Despite Jews, Muslims, and Christians living in relative harmony for thousands of years, this sprouted immediate tension and conflict. 